was 1997 and you were we were looking for a church home and we came and visited a number of times and we met father tony it was at the end of his tenure and we just really fell in love with him and he was just so charismatic and welcoming but it, it was more than just him it was everyone we encountered was was just just so great and welcoming and we we just felt comfortable here right away. For me, it's any given Christmas Eve because it's a time when the families that we have known over the years and seen their children grow, um, it's a special time that they're with them where, when maybe they aren't all the time, just like our family. And it is just a quite a joyful feeling to, to see that and experience that. Seen, we have seen over the years, St. Christopher's become a, an externally focused church. And um, with, with all of the things that we do, packaging food and supplies for people in need and um, um, in the pride, being involved in the pride event and um, recently at the North End with the North End neighbors, the intellectually disabled adults. And I can only imagine the opportunities that are ahead of us. Um, we think of creative ways to connect with our community and that makes me joyful. Um, embracing God's love one person at a time. And to Lori's point, I think that um, there have been some ups and downs over the years where where financially we weren't able to be as externally focused as we are now. And while I'm not a fan of just growing just to be big, as we've gotten bigger and had more members, it's given us more opportunities to be externally focused. And I've seen us continue to do that. And I think that's really important. And um, so I, I, I'm just delighted that that's the direction that, that we're going. Sure, of course. We, you know, we have a daughter, and and we'd love to see her maybe someday get married here or have grandchildren baptized here. But we'll have to wait and see how that works. That would be very joyful, yes. indeed. I just feel like it's part of an extended family of ours. I feel like it's a, a feeling of unconditional belonging here. I agree. I I think that. <clears throat> You know, when you're when you're an adult, you don't know, you know, are you gonna make new lifelong friends in your thirties and forties? And we have it turns out that we've some of our closest friends are people that we've met here at mm -hmm. St. Christopher's. And, you know, it started with meeting them here, but it's part of, as Lori says, our extended family.